What's up, my people? You're welcome to another beautiful edition. It's definitely going to be of Das Digital Asset Show. New all-time high loading. What is Bitcoin price today? The price of Bitcoin is $68,000. Yeah, $68,985 as we speak. With a market cap of about $1.3 trillion US dollars. Mad. Top 10. Top 10 if... Bitcoin were to be a company. Uh, congratulations to the altcoiners. We now have uh, an Ethereum ETF. The SEC in the United States have approved uh, a couple of Ethereum ETF. And uh, it just shows that, you know, the space is evolving. I'm a Bitcoin guy and um, I am focused on true money. But the SEC is basically just telling us that um, the technology that Bitcoin foster, the technology that Bitcoin, uh, uh, you know, made, you know, acceptable by every one of us, made easy for every one of us to use, has now become um, the chief cornerstone. So everybody's advancing on the blockchain. So, yeah, that's okay. But, you know, Bitcoin is still the apex cryptocurrency on top of the food chain i love bitcoin so much if you want to protect your money you are looking for something that will ensure your money don't debase don't lose value over a long period of time i mean at least for four years you should be buying btc if you want to i still say um you know make quick bucks and don't mind if you know, something goes bust after a couple of months or years, you can try the altcoins. Yes, you're welcome to Das and I am Olua Shegun. What is happening in the world today? Did you buy Bitcoin or did you shitcoin? <laughs> Woo! People have been asking what's going to be the price of Bitcoin after the halving. Wait and see. Don't ask me. Ask the market. The Nigerian government through the SEC and the OS. ONSA, that's the Office of the National Security Advisor, and of course the Security Exchange Commission, is clamping down on peer-to-peer -peer exchanges uh, to delist the Naira of the P2P exchanges. I mean, the Naira, uh, when it comes to our currency symbol, that way there will not be open trading of uh, Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, especially stablecoin. Um, uh, the one that is giving Nigerian, you know, Naira the biggest problem right now. I mean, it's synthetic dollar, maybe USDT, et cetera. Uh, so is that the best measure to relieve us of the inflationary stress that we are going through on our paper money in Naira? Is the government taking the right steps? I think that we have the one of the best hands in the, at the ends of affairs of the SEC, Dr. Timmy Agama, and we really want him to succeed. But are these measures going to really impact the market for real? Who are the true peer-to-peer -peer traders? What are they trading? Is it US dollar fiat paper or synthetic dollar USDT? What exactly is the problem? Who is inflating the currency uh, in terms of exchange rate? Who is doing that to the market? Who is manipulating the market? Me. Huh? <laughs> how much is my transaction? You. How much is your transaction? So I think the government should look inwards and, of course, use a town hall. Um, I like to say, like the president, with, with no ball of blue type of strategy, bring everybody together and, and, and let the players you know, sit down and profess solutions that can truly help this nation. Yeah. Kenya is going to be mining Bitcoin. Marathon Odin, a U.S. company, I want to believe, has now signed uh, an agreement with the Kenyan government in the presence of the Kenyan president. You know what they're gonna be doing? They will be helping their country incentivize wasted energy. They signed that with the Ministry for Oil and Gas, I think, and Energy in Kenya. That's a wake up call. Does that spark the curiosity of anybody at the FG level in Nigeria? Hmm? Bitcoin mining. 
the best way, the most lucrative, the most progressive way to incentivize wasted energy on Earth as we speak right now. Yes. So, so many things are going on in Nigeria. The crypto space is a little bit um, under the weather right now. People are very scared to come out. Some people think that Bitcoin and other cryptocurrency has been banned. I say no on national television. The government itself is trying to sanitize the space so that um, they can uh, have true participants, participants that will pay the registration fee, which is about 150 million naira for uh, a VASP license. VASP is Virtual Asset Service Provider License. It will help you be able to do one of the objectives of um, the, the things that happen in the blockchain space, that is buy and sell cryptocurrency or enable different types of value exchange or services, monetary services on the blockchain. And you would need a billion Naira as working capital. How many companies have put their um, documentation forward? You want to ask the SEC that. But what I see is there will be a system whereby cryptocurrency will be in the open in Nigeria because just our neighbor here, Kenya, will be mining Bitcoin. And President, you know, Bola Tinubu has special advisors that are smart and they're looking around. So it really, really makes sense. So if you, if, you, if you really want something that is going to be very sustainable, look at what is happening in the world right now. Look at your money in the bank. If it's debasing, if you think, um, you know, you would like to protect some of it, then do what is right. This year, we started, you know, educating over a thousand women with Bitcoin education. They are called, the community is called the Nigerian Women Bitcoiners. Um, I will be bringing some of them uh, on set pretty soon, not on this episode, to come and share their experiences. You know, when you teach a woman, you know, especially about money, you're going to be teaching a lot of people. Most likely you're teaching a nation, a community. If you teach a man, you don't teach one just another guy. <laughs> so that's one of the things that we're doing, and I'm very happy about it. Um, there's another stuff that we're going to be doing pretty soon. The conference is coming up in December. It's going to be awesome. Um, so pay attention. And one more thing that I would like to say. You know, if you look around and, and you see the type of people that are investing in Bitcoin in, in the world right now, it would expose you to why you should not be like a desical about your thoughts when it comes to the crypto space. You know, even what couldn't happen in Bitcoin before is now happening. Like the, the popular NFT that was the each thing about 2021, 2022, immediately after the pandemic on, on um, side chains like um, Ethereum. Uh, I, mean, I mean, don't feel bad that I call Ethereum side chains. I'm trying to say <laughs> all the ecosystems like Ethereum and the rest of them. Um, we now have ordinals on Bitcoin, inscriptions on Bitcoin. And, and that is so beautiful because of the way the technology feature is designed. You can really do a lot with Bitcoin now, and it just keeps shooting up the market cap. The adoption is going to the next level more than the adoption of even fiat itself. Some kids that will be born today and some born a few years ago, in the next five, ten years, may not even interact with paper money ever, ever, ever again. Yes, even the BDCs, the period the change, they, they are trying to also tap in from the, the digital currency space because, you know, it aligns with their, with, their, with their objective. And I buy that idea, you know. So we are technically advising that association, APCON, for the best. And I think that what we need in this space is for the entire um, uh, blocks of relevant uh, people, association, and organizations that are trying to do stuff uh, to progress blockchain to come together and build an ecosystem that can communicate with the government. No, no trying to get away and be an hindrance when you actually want to do good. You mean well, but then you're, you're, get, you're, you're, you're gateway and, and you're, not, you're not bringing people in, in full. You know, nobody's going to pay attention to you. We are at the nascent stage where different ideas can pop up. If you have a blockchain idea or a Bitcoin idea, whatever it is, 
you know, do your thing and, and try as much as possible to find a community that would accept you or that you can build. And don't run away from governance. Don't run away from um, due diligence. Don't run away from what can potentially be your risk. If not, you'll be, you end up paying so much money like Binance uh, has paid. I would like to go for a quick break. And um, uh, when I come back, uh, I'll be giving you some juicy news generally all over the world, what's happening in the Bitcoin market, cryptocurrency market at large, um, what are people doing, what are people building, we're going to be able to talk about that. Lightning Network um, is improving, it's getting better. I think that's the biggest competition of MasterCard and Visa Card. Watch out. Um, innovation is coming into Africa and Nigeria, something you should pay attention to. Um, yeah, so many things. Bitcoin back loans. Yes, Bitcoin back loans. You don't have to sell your Bitcoin. You can just, you know, store your Bitcoin uh, with a custodian that is reputable, verifiable, and you know that uh, they, are, they are properly insured. And you can take some loan, fiat loan. You pay back the fiat loan based on the interest agreed, and you get back your BTC. Whether your BTC increases or not, you take back the value of your Bitcoin. Beautiful innovation in the block, on the blockchain, enhanced by BTC. Uh, and of course, you can talk about all, all other innovation that are being tokenized right now. Asset-backed you know, blockchain tokenization. I love those ideas, especially real estate uh, and some other things that can be tokenized. What about Afrobeats? How about that? Lots of things coming out of my head right now. Let's go for a quick break. When I come back, we'll expand shades. It's the Digital Asset Show, and I am Oluwa Shagun, your favorite host. Let's talk money. Let's talk virtual money. Welcome back to Digital Asset Show with Oluwa Shagun, a.k.a. Hasu Al Haji. <laughs> oh, Olu. Oh. Olu, it depends on the part of the world you're coming from. What's the price of Bitcoin as we speak? I told you the price for went on break. Now it's about, are we up? Okay, it's still hovering around 68,992. Yeah, it's the bullish season. Get, just get ready, you know, strap up. Get ready for that flight. We're going up. We're not falling like Domino this time around. Don't get scared, right? So much retest. It's time for us to take flight. Um, what are the things happening around the world right now? Uh, just about some hours ago, the UK sentences uh, a woman to prison for laundering Bitcoin after police sees about 61,000, 61K BTC. Now, I don't understand. If it's 61,000 Bitcoin or 61,000 um worth of bitcoin i think it's sixty one thousand bitcoins no no for real like 61k they seized it <laughs> you said how many bitcoins but law enforcement sees 61k it cannot be sixty one thousand dollars that they will now put on a big time headline like this Law 61k you know when government sees btc they're always very very happy that's what nigerian government is looking for to seize from binance they never see yeah, they para. <laughs> because it's, it's really fun. It's revenue generation for you when count, um, uh, an organization, a company, or country flouts your, your monetary rules or your tax rules, and you are able to clamp down on financial transactions that may be classified as you know, money laundry, et cetera. It, it's kind of a good cup, bad cup thing. You know, you're protecting your country's monetary space you know, vis-a-vis -vis protecting um, the lives and property of the people of your country because if money gets moved for terrorism, nah, wahala. So those type of cases, government eventually usually have a say when it comes to that kind of thing. So you, when government bust money like that, they switch them. And that is why I encourage proper registration of your crypto business. You know, and I buy the idea of delisting Naira from P2P platforms. Now, it's not like I ordinarily would have loved it, but if we truly, if that would truly work, fine. I don't think that's the problem. I do not agree that that's the problem. But I buy the idea. Let's start from the beginning, 
right? Instead of breaking the, the whole thing, let's just put some compliance in place. If you are a big international company and you want to play in the Nigerian space, then communicate with the SEC and, 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 and prove yourself right. Go through the registration process and compete with local companies too or partner, interoperate with local companies. And, and that way we can... Um, we can uh, we can foster a beautiful and, and and a more lucrative business ecosystem for cryptocurrency in our country Nigeria. There is numbers in Nigeria. Shout out to El Salvador and what they are doing over there. But the numbers Bitcoin companies, crypto companies can do in Nigeria is is hundred x of what they can do in El Salvador. So uh, you need some advice in that area. We can advise you. We can guide you. Uh, on how to actually do things at the from the smallest points of entry, from the low hanging fruit, you know, quick wins to the highest level, you know. But try, Sha, if you want to do crypto for this country, try make it begin regularize. Um, another news. Um, I think I already told you guys that Kenya is mining Bitcoin now. Yes, with marathon owners. Let me look for the news and put it out there. Uh, while we are looking for that news, the White House signals that President Biden will sign a crypto market bill if it passes the Congress. So all over the world, even in the U.S., there is this, you know, federal executive level of conversation for cryptocurrency. So it's not a matter of clamping down. And, and, and this is me trying to speak for in favor or, you know, reasonably in support of some of the things the Nigerian government is doing through the SEC and the Office of the National Security Advisor with the hope that there is a sincerity of purpose and the willingness to, you know, sanitize and encourage the business environment for real. I hope that it's not the other way around. And, and then it looks as if, you know, I got paid to or I encourage what is wrong. All over the world, people are talking about cryptocurrency, crypto mining, Bitcoin mining, and, and, and the good things that it can do. You, you have so much light in your house or anywhere that you operate. You can use that energy to mine Bitcoin and, oh, and then get some money to pay back the electricity and also you know, money to become wealthy in the future if you can stack it all up. Yes, that's what they call Bitcoin mining. Incentivizing the energy that you have. It is the proof of work of Bitcoin itself. And the cryptocurrency space is so big that every other thing are coins, basically coins with different type of utility, and that's why I, this is which is why I like to talk about Bitcoin. The fact that it has uh, multiple advantages, instant settlement. It is a cross instant settlement payment service. Bitcoin itself is a payment technology. So once you have it, you have a bank in your hand. It depends on how you can research, you know, and and, and be able to bring out something from it. In the cryptocurrency space, what we'll be having pretty soon is all the banks in Nigeria will start to adopt blockchain. And you will see that your bank app will be updated. They will just tell you to update. You won't even know that they've done something like that. They will just send you an email. You update your bank app and you have a wallet. Yes, a Bitcoin wallet. And before you know it, you start having multiple crypto wallets. That's, that will happen before the next, before the next um, 50 months. And, and I don't think that's so far away. How many years do we have in 50 months? That's less than five years. I think it will happen in 2026. So keep this video and let's hope that it's aged well. Banks in the Federal Republic of Nigeria will send you notification to update your application, your banking application, and then you will find crypto services there. You will work into the buildings of banks and you will make inquiry at their cryptocurrency blockchain desk. In the Federal Republic of Nigeria and of course the world over, pretty soon, less than 24 months from now, you would begin to see how transactions will be done and settled with cryptocurrency many of them with Bitcoin, and of course, different types of uh, options that will be available as screened and allowed by the SEC. 
of, but you know the market is proliferated by multiple options that I somehow see a scam to a large extent. But you know, if the idea is good and and the things they are doing are transparent, for example, real world tokenization of assets can really you boost our economy in multiple ways. A lot of people can come together and uh, an asset that is being tokenized can be funded by the the crowd and and usually the investment that would have been too, you know, far-fetched for you and I to have access to. You can now have access to it. Say, for example, um, somebody wants to build a stadium, a private stadium in a particular community and has gotten all the necessary license and everything and they have the land, they don't have the money, you know, they, they, they've gotten approval from the government and all the necessary things, they have the right uh, platform for, uh, you know, activation. It, an enabling environment has been created, it's now funding that is left. You and I ordinarily may not be able to sit on the board table of such huge project with the demands on the type of money that they're looking for. They may be saying, oh, they would need like a hundred million dollars to build an international world class uh, stadium for multiple sports purposes. <coughs> Excuse me. But <clears throat> can I get a bottle of water please? But what tokenization encourages in simple terms is you and I can now be able to participate. Uh, I'm tripping in such investment opportunity at the smallest level of entry, whether you are a pepper seller in the corner of your street or you are a vulcanizer or a student or a young entrepreneur or, or a working class male or female, at tiny amount of 1,000 naira, 5,000 naira, et cetera. It depends on the, the offerings. You'll be able to buy into such project and own it as much as it grows. Then your value of your money grows. Yes, those type of fundraising opportunities will begin to emerge. And, it, 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 and, and once the space is properly cleaned and the SEC gets to scrutinize uh, uh, legitimacy out of some of these projects, a lot of businesses will flourish. Businesses that ordinarily wouldn't have had the opportunity. Young people with ideas, you know, uh, farming idea, uh, creative expression ideas, fashion ideas, whatever it is, can now crowdfund um, in the open on the blockchain. But you know, we by friends and family or even strangers who like the idea. Yes, it will get to a level whereby you will start to tokenize your tweets your social media, every digital asset that you have will now become a personalized, uh, 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 um, um, valuable asset for revenue generation. It is already like that, but it, it, it will now be more, more uh, prominent, more in the open. Imagine likes cost money. That you see my picture, you just want to like I'm last one, it's going to cost you 0.000 something. Okay, say it's going to cost you 10 kobo. And that 10 kobo will be easy to remove. You know, say so you don't go pay me to give you 10 kobo. You understand? It, it, some premium pictures from some type of level of people will cost maybe like five naira to like. And that's how they're going to be making money. To comment may cost maybe like nine naira to subscribe to that commentary for, say, you'll be able to comment for the whole day. For the whole month, you may subscribe at a hundred naira and maybe a dollar for the whole year to be able to comment on a particular celebrity um, page. Then these are the, the, the monetization, revenue generation opportunities that the blockchain is, it has already enabled, but you have not started experiencing it. You would be able to, you know, tokenize your music and people can actually truly, truly buy your song with money, not just streaming. They buy it. They know that you're buying your song with money and they own it. You understand? The highest level. Imagine you're able to accept Bitcoin payments for your music. So you, all of those 1 million copies or, or 500,000 streams um, that the, price, the pricing and, and sharing formula is, is not f favorable to the artist, it won't be like that no more. Power will be transferred from the authoritarians who are in charge of industries and giving the real creative crumbs to the real creatives themselves. 
So you do a music and you know that you have a hundred thousand people that would like your song. They will pay for the song instantly with BTC. And at less than maybe fifty cents, multiple people can buy and they can buy in Naira. It's going to happen. Banks will open their gateway for different type of integrations. And we'll be here to celebrate some. Right? Shoot me a call if you have had any experience of such that I am saying today. And you can only get this type of information on the Digital Asset Show. In Nigeria, movies will be tokenized. Bridges, Fort Million Bridge that the government is trying to build can actually be tokenized and can be tokenized on Bitcoin. Yeah. I think these are opportunities that the legal state government should start paying attention to. And of course, federal governments at all levels. Um, if you have mineral resources around you, you can tokenize it. Well, you're looking for funding. The people in the diaspora of, of your country, national, uh, national uh, or African descent, or, or all over the world like the idea, and they would be able to participate. It increases the, 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 the level of participation. You will now have so much option. Somebody in Jamaica, in Argentina, would see your creative work. And we pay you. When the people in your own area are forming, ah, this one, okay, we don't want him to prosper. We don't want to participate in anything he's doing. But somebody will see that beautiful graphics that you designed, and just for viewing it, and because they want to have access to continue to view it, they will subscribe to it for just $1 to so be able to view it forever. Yeah. And they still don't own it. <laughs> So um, there is no reason for young people to become broke any longer in, in Nigeria. I think that uh, the opportunities are there. There is a national blockchain policy. I've always said it. Go read about it by NIDA and so many other people that participated in that. Um, yeah. If, 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 there is, if there is something that you're doing that you think uh, you would like to, you know, get some level of information uh, of, from, or, or about, and, and you don't know how to do the research online, or you've done that, or you just need some extra access to content, you can reach out to us. I would always be available to help. I will always be available to support your idea. If it's a beautiful idea that can uh, be lucrative for your business, for Nigeria, Pop Central will be there to support it. Um, the, next week, I will be talking about some very innovative uh, uh, programs that is that is already in the pipeline. Some have started, uh, but it hasn't gotten to the level that it would need PR. Once it starts to need PR, I'll tell you guys about it. Opportunities for you in the Bitcoin space is opening up real fast. Would you like to be a Bitcoin community manager? Uh, so many Bitcoin companies internationally are looking for people that can help them with adoption work locally. And if you know Bitcoin, if you know the crypto space very well, uh, if you know Bitcoin, you'll be able to learn about the crypto space. It's so unfortunate that people just go and learn about coin, 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 and they don't learn about the, you know, the alpha, alpha, omega of coins. And the reason why coins are better today, right? Which is very, very important. So uh, people, companies are looking for community managers. And to manage a Bitcoin company, you definitely need to have um, um, vested interest. In, in Bitcoin itself, in, the, in acquiring Bitcoin knowledge. So I have some companies, uh, maybe from next week, I'll start putting the opportunity on television for you so you can subscribe to the opportunity. And you, who knows, you might just get paid. Beautiful payments, money that you would earn, uh, and, and in a month, you'll be able to change your life. And these are the advantages for Nigeria. Thank you very much, my brother. These are the advantages for um, Nigeria uh, as a country. You know, cheers. I love my production team. God bless you. Ah. Water is the free gift of life. <coughs> no, no, no. Leave the water. I, I, I have the water here. Thank you. You can sponsor. You can sponsor and your brand name will be here. If this bottle looks like your bottle and we remove your label, it's because you are not paying. So if you sponsor... You don't have to be a water bottle producer, but we can put your brand name here or your brand name here. Yeah, so um, there are opportunities for you to also be a contact person for business opportunities, whether uh, uh, adoption for 
low income earners or HNIs, or, uh, high, high net worth individuals. There are companies that will be looking for you. They're already looking for you. Um, it depends on the level you want to operate. So, but you need to learn about Bitcoin. So if you're a lady, you want to join the Nigerian Women Bitcoin as a community where uh, Bitcoin is being taught for free, strictly Bitcoin education. There's no time to be running after airdrop, fake tap swap that will make you do like this forever and ever. <laughs> you may never ever cash out. And when you cash out, that's the end. <laughs> Oh, I said we didn't find money, you know. So, yeah, uh, uh, so many opportunities. Trading BTC, BTC against the USD, um, uh, those opportunities uh, are also available. So I think from next week we'll start, you know, announcing these opportunities for you. So you will be able to um, grab these opportunities because it's not just by buying Bitcoin. You can earn Bitcoin, and that means they're paying you in pricey uh, value. You imagine somebody paying you in gold before Bitcoin came into existence or somebody paying you a diamond. Yes. Um, you can do work for Bitcoin. What else can you do? Well, the tax guys. Yeah, have you thought of, um, uh, you know, learning how to um, tax Bitcoin uh, so that you can, you know, apply for private company um, servicing or, or even government or public organizations. You know, these, these opportunities are opening up and there will be a Bitcoin taxation um, or set of services that is going to start generating revenue for the smart people. So if you're in the tax space, you should, it's something you want to start looking at because it's already in the law. There is a 10% capital gain in, in, the, in the New Finance Act signed by President Balamet. And I've said that over and over uh, on this show. So you want to start thinking, how will the government take that money? I heard that the FG takes for the COI and the state takes for the individual. So you want to start plugging um, ideas around that. Who else? Um, business uh, analysts, valuations. The way you value fiat companies is definitely different from the way you will value Bitcoin companies because Bitcoin is everything fiat is not. A fiat company may be buying goods and services and be doing numbers, you know, but their money is still in the inflationary economy. A Bitcoin company may probably be doing nothing, just be buying Bitcoin, and their money will be, you know, increasing in value. Of course, in, in volatility, but if you zoom out and look at the growth trajectory of any company that is invested in Bitcoin, it's, it, the, 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 the growth trajectory is up eventually. So you, you want to understand that the valuation of a Bitcoin company or a cryptocurrency company at large is going to be different from the valuation of a fiat company. But you take Bitcoin, for example, you must, you must be able to value a Bitcoin company. That will really, really uh, shoot you up amongst your peers. Uh, no matter the knowledge that you've had, whether you're a chartered accountant and co, you don't know how to value a company in crypto, you never learn anything. Bam. I can say that again and again. If you're, if you're, if you're so talented in accounting, you've gone so far, but in 2024 today, I missed the loud news of crypto ETFs, like Bitcoin for over weeks now, you know, and, and now we're more recently Ethereum, you know, <laughs> that the biggest asset managers in the world are buying Bitcoin, and, and, and a nation like El Salvador has accepted and, and made Bitcoin a legal tender, and, and in Kenya, you know, will be mining Bitcoin with the oil and gas ministry, ministry in collaboration with Marathon Holdings, then you are not ready. So you need to start paying attention because the job opportunity that we open here is so much and it is high, high paying jobs that come out of this space. High paying jobs. You might just be a uh, you might be an adoption ambassador and you can be earning $1,500 monthly or, or even less, more than that. In a week, you can be earning as much as in Nigeria today, a young man, where you know they do too much work and I just play the day online or a young lady, you just, you know, educate people about Bitcoin and you're earning 500 to 700 or to as much as 1500 uh, weekly or monthly salary. That's over, over half a million today in Nigeria if you're still within the age of, you know, 
17 to 28. That's still very, very good for you. Earning half a million upward. And if you're even older than that, it depends on the problems you already have put yourself into. <laughs> you will know whether you can, you know, uh, resolve this or not. As I wind down, I just feel that learning about Bitcoin and everything the blockchain has to offer is for today and anybody who wants to be, you know, financially cerebral tomorrow. If you want to have a stable financial understanding of where the world is going, you need to start reading about the blockchain. Everything will be moved to the blockchain and 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 for for revenue generation, for for sustainability, for for the blockage of loopholes, for sincerity for transparency for transparency you know almost everything from from the oil and and gas industry you know just look at the tokenization of dangote refinery for god's sake and they're doing numbers so much numbers they are even them trying to uh, uh sell and buy oil imagine peer-to-peer -peer transaction going on everybody hustling to buy dangote refinery tokens massive it will happen Wake up and do not be behind. Imagine people, you know, peer to peer, trying to buy into the futuristic uh, uh, capabilities and display of superstars, of celebrities, footballers, boxers, musicians, creative persons, and you can have them on a, a, a market table, and you can buy into the the the, the uh, uh, human capital. And that's you buying into what is very, very dangerous. One person misbehaved now for a club. His name spoiled. Press carry different things about them. The value of his name tokenized and Bitcoin will drop <laughs> in fear terms. So it's a wide, uh, it's a wide space, and it would only continue to grow. Um, that will be all for this week. I hope you guys have uh, enjoyed so much. You know, in just a few. Uh, 60 minutes that we've come to offer you another power packed, knowledge packed Bitcoin education, digital asset education on channel 189, Pop Central DSTV, the only platform in sub Saharan Africa, in all the 17 West African countries that we air, and anywhere in Africa today that comes back week in, week out with exclusive uh, education like this. Yeah, if you have another one, let us know. Uh, so if you, if you think that's you love what we're doing, tweet about us, reach out to me, reach out to Pop Central, um, send us a message, share your experiences with us, ask us questions. We will always be here to support you. My name is Uluwa Shegun Ore Ofe. Uh, some people call me Hosu Alaji, like you know, uh, Lami, yeah, Lami Lami, nah, my street name, those things. But um, you can call me Olu, eh? <laughs> and you can call me Ore Ofe if you, if you want me to fall in love with you. Let's get money. Let's talk about money. Go hustle. Buy some Bitcoin. Protect yourself. Inflation is everywhere. Don't door. Don't sleep on a bicycle that has no tire. Wise up. Nigeria will send you. I wish you all the best. Cryptocurrency is not scam. Bitcoin is not scam. You can do it in the open. You can do it the right way. And, and there will be peace between yourself and the government that is making you fear that you cannot do it. They just want to collect their own. Make everybody enjoy. Eh? That's how it go be. Odabo. <laughs>